But we begin with developing news out of Lincoln tonight. All five full-time firefighters in the Lonsdale Fire District are being laid off due to financial shortfall. The fire district itself is not closing. The building will still be used by its rescue crews who are funded by the town of Lincoln, not the Lonsdale Fire District. The board says it simply cannot afford to pay its employees. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lanz is in Lincoln tonight and she has more in-depth coverage for us now from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. Shante? Todd, all five firefighters were laid off here from this fire station, their pink slips taking effect immediately. The faces of some of the five full-time firefighters who left the Lonsdale Fire Station Saturday without their jobs. In an emergency meeting, Lonsdale Fire District's four board members broke the news to them and concerned Lincoln residents. There's thousands of other people that may not know and is probably going to be worried when they get from their neighbors that there's no fire trucks coming on the station on Front Street. How could we have allowed that to occur? The board announced the layoffs after revealing that there's only about $14,500 in the district's bank account. They made it clear to residents that neither the district nor department is closing. They say rescue crews will continue to use its department facility, which has always been subleased by the town. Lonsdale Fire District is one of six in the town of Lincoln. Councilman Bruce Alney, who represents the fire district, is uneasy. Sad. Uh, sad to see these guys are going to get laid off. They're, they're, they're tremendous firefighters. Neither board members or local fire union 3023 would comment on exactly how they reached this financial pitfall, but Councilman Oney is hopeful that the board will get to the bottom of it. I have full faith and confidence that these guys who I know, some of them I know, will do a great job in getting us to where we need to be to find out how this happened and how we go forward from here. And all firefighters were advised by their union rep not to speak with the media, but their facial expressions clearly filled with disappointment. Reporting in Lincoln with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.